What can you say about the infomercial? It's 30 minutes of paid advertising. Instead of like, you know, a TV show or something. I mean, you turn on your TV expecting Ghostbusters, and what do you get? Well, not Ghostbusters. Instead, it's some asshole selling some products you probably don't need. But you know, we have the entertainment options of literally anything at our fingertips nowadays. Why the hell would anyone ever watch these? Well, the thing is, infomercials are really entertaining. Sure, have us over for a nice family meal, and there's no food in sight. They probably just got out of bed. My friend Justin and I used to watch infomercials all the time. For some goddamn reason. He showed me his favorite one. It's called the Ronco Knives infomercial, starring this guy called Ron Popeil. Now Ron basically invented the infomercial. And he sells a bunch of garbage, I mean he sells a bunch of great stuff. Look at this smug asshole. He knows you're gonna buy his goddamn knives. I hate him so goddamn much. to Showtime's Great Knife Giveaway Show. Except you have to buy them. Hello, I'm Steve Bryant. I'm your show host today for a very special program. Today you're going to meet a man that some people call the Viceroy of Value, the Count of all things culinary. Most people call him the King of the Kitchen. Who is this great American inventor? I don't know, guys. I think this audience might be planted. I shake your hand, but I'm loaded say, down. Look at these. These what? are knives that I have, and I have a drawer like this at home. We all have drawers like this at home, am I right? Yeah. yeah. Let me take these knives and put them where they belong, okay? All right. Right over here. <laughs> okay? <laughs> That's that, okay? Problem solved. I will remember you. Will you? I've created the greatest knife, a knife that'll never get dull. More like you made the greatest knife commercial that never gets dull. Fuck you, Chef Tony. I want to introduce to you my daughter Shannon, my other daughter Lauren, and over here my cousin Arnold. Oh yeah, cousin Arnold. He's like the MVP of this commercial. How many of you have a knife that looks something like this? Oh, it was a good knife when you first got it. Maybe six months later, it got dull. Did you ever try to cut a tomato with one of these babies? Oh, boy, you poke it, you stab it, you jab it, you give the... T oh, my goodness gracious, the poor tomato has a hemorrhage. Well, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. I love this one guy in the audience who just finds Cousin Arnold just a little bit too funny. My cousin Ron has come mm -hmm. up with mo one of the most unbelievable mm -hmm. knives mm -hmm. that I've ever mm -hmm. laid my hands on. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention. I just noticed this, like, burnt-ass rotisserie chicken in the background. Ron, I think you might be taking Set It and Forget It a bit too seriously. First of all, let me describe this knife. It's called the Showtime knife. It is made out of fine surgical steel. It is a, a full tang. It's one solid piece of steel. This is the strangest part. Let me show you this guarantee. This is unreal, un unbelievable in the cutlery business. If it ever gets broken, dull, damaged, even if it's your fault, my cousin Ron's gonna replace this absolutely free. Oh no, I ran over my fucking knife again. If you go into a fast food restaurant, they've been using our knife and the same tomato for six weeks. Here, pick up the bun, look underneath. Does that look familiar? That's why you're going hungry and you come out star. Look. Damn, Arnold, you should have been a stand-up comedian. I know at least one guy that would have come to your shows. And I don't care whether it's ham, roast beef, lamb, turkey. This knife is like a hot knife going right through butter. Wait, what? Arnold, you can't say the knife is like a knife. That doesn't mean anything. It has a fork on the end, so you pick up the meat, dip it into the gravy. Now that is a line for the history books. We used to take and cut up a can to show you. They, they, they used to make these cans out of steel. Right now, they're making them out of aluminum. So I had to find something a little bit harder than aluminum. I had to find something really hard to cut. So I'm going to take this solid steel hammer, and I'm going to cut this hammer up. Holy shit, dude. This commercial's hardcore. A knife like this is going to cost you at least $100. Would you say it's worth it, huh? Yeah. Never has to be replaced. We'll replace it if it ever gets broken, dull, or damaged. Well, with Ron, you know you're not going to pay $100. You're not going to pay $70. You're not going to pay $60. How would you like to own this knife for three easy payments of only $13.33? 
You better get used to that number, because they're going to be saying it a lot. Three payments of only $13.33. Three payments of $13.33. Three payments of $13.33. Three easy payments, $13.33. Well, this is the sportsman's knife. Look at the flexibility of that blade. Let me show you something right now. You put that underneath between the flesh of the skin and you just press. That fish will jump right out of his underwear, swim around naked, die of pneumonia before he knows what hit him. Uh... Gee, Arnold, I was kind of hoping the fish would be dead before you started cutting it open. We all have bread knives. We all have... You can go out and spend $75 for a knife that does nothing but bread. How many of you still do this, though? You take good old faithful and you start to make these little... Uh, uh, <laughs> try, put, try putting that into the toaster. Better yet, try getting it out. Arnold, what the fuck is wrong with you? You just crushed that bread and blamed it on the knife. Oh, but when it's time to show off the Ronco knife, he's very gentle with the bread. Really makes you think, huh? I'm not finished yet. There's more. You Come on be, with me, you Arnold. Gotta be kidding. You know what's missing over here? You need shears. Here I have shears. Okay, what the hell's with this audio editing? If you're a gardener, you're gonna love these poultry shears. Yeah, I can see the relationship between cutting up meat and gardening. It's totally the same thing. But there's more. Over here I have my cheese knife. I love this knife. It's designed to cut cheese easily without the cheese sticking to the blade. If you promise to tell a friend about all our knives, I'm going to give everyone the $40 cheese knife absolutely free. Oh, I caught onto your game, Justin. You wanted that cheese knife, didn't you? Here I have my professional fillet knife. After designing it, I brought it to Alaska. Over here, we have a boning knife. Now this boning knife, everyone knows how to use it. It's another great sharp knife. I'm not going to bother demonstrating it. Uh, Ron, you had Arnold demonstrate how to cut bread. Steve, over here we have our Showtime solid wooden knife block holder. It doesn't take up a lot of space, but it holds and protects your knives. Select the knife you want, and when you're finished, just put it back in its slot. Uh, yes, Ron, that's the function of a knife block. But what about the function of a boning knife? And all I'll do is... Whoa, what's this? Like this? This ain't a knife. Okay. What is he doing? Oh, oh god. Oh, don't play that again. That animation sickens me. Here I have some shoe leather. Okay, holy shit, someone stop this absolute madman. Hello, I'm Steve Bryant. Uh, yeah, I know. Right here, we have 22 fine German stainless steel knives. 22 of them. Ron went out and bought these. In fact, he got them on sale. Ron, you little asshole, you already had knives. This was a paid program from Ronco. Well, are you convinced to buy a bunch of knives now? I sure am. Let's just check some reviews online first and wait a minute. 1.5 out of 5? I thought these were 6 star knives. Ron, how could you? But you know what? The internet can't convince me. I bought the knives anyway. I mean, just look at this knife. Look at this knife. Look at the stainless steel. Look at the triple rivets. Look at the fork for which you pick up the meat and dip it into the gravy. How can you say no to a knife like this? I shouldn't be grabbing a knife like this, but I am. Although, really, it doesn't matter how much I show these knives. You can't buy them anymore, because Ronco is bankrupt. Oh. Hey, thank you all for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button or leave a comment, and I'll probably make some more like this. And if you actually want to see what my friend Justin is like, he and his friend Rodney have this gaming channel called Rock Solid Gaming. It's actually pretty legit, and sometimes I show up too. So thanks again, and I'll see ya.